It is 2.30 in the morning, December 21st, 2023. Where have I been? I've been trucking crazy. As you can see, uh, I got 59 and a half hours on my 70. When I parked last yesterday, I had 15 minutes. This truck stop was just about empty when I parked. Yeah, it was four o'clock in the afternoon. There's two parked here. There's supposed to be one row. Now there's two, maybe three rows here. I don't know if I could get around. Earlier, that was blocking the road. So, this is 2.30 in the morning in a small truck stop in I-65 in Kentucky. Uh, I forget what exit number this is, but yeah. Let's pull up and see if I can get around this guy and see what's blocking me over there. Like I said, it is 2.30 in the morning. I was supposed to, I told dispatch yesterday, I was going to have about two to three hours when I delivered in Albany, Kentucky. I left on my 70 hour clock. And he's like, go ahead and take a 34 so you'd be good to go. I'm going to be working through Christmas holiday. The reason why? I have a doctor appointment January 8th because my physical is due to fit before the 15th, which I'm going to do probably on the 8th of January. To make sure I have a paycheck coming in every week and have the time off, I can't go home for Christmas and do that doctor's appointments plus blood work a couple days before. So, I'm supposed to do a 34 in Albany, Kentucky. And they decide, they call me up about an hour later, said, Ralph, can you do us a favor? We need you to go up there near Cincinnati and do a 40 mile tr trip. So that's 200 mile deadhead and a 40 mile trip before 7 a.m. So let's see if I can get out of this truck stop and I'll pull up and I'll start the video again. Well, I guess I can make it through. Uh, more room than I thought it was. As you can see, there is two deep over here. Luckily, I thought there wasn't room over there, but there is. So let's go up to the Cincinnati area and do this little 40 mile trip. Because luckily, they didn't say I was the only one like Ashley Furniture used to. Talk to you all a little bit. Yeah, there's like three, four parked over there in the entrance. But look at this pothole. Boom! You don't want to hit that fast. And there's I-75. You get to that game. Let's go trucking. Ain't clucking. Yeah. Look, they're just parked any damn way. We need more truck parking out here on the road. Like I said, this is 2.30 in the morning at a small truck stop in Kentucky. I'll show a screenshot of this place. Grandma loves an exit 95 in Richmond, Kentucky. Look, they're just parked anywhere. Yeah, look at all the trucks parked. That's on the shoulder. There's one back there on the shoulder. There's about 30 on the exit ramp. I hate to say, that's a damn Tyson truck. Yeah, at least the Tyson trailer when I pulled in. There's probably 15 trailer trucks and trailers parked on a uh, ramp. Of course, parked on an angle. There ain't no way in hell I park on a damn ramp. And take a 10 hour break. Flipping ridiculous. As you can see, all the trucks lined up there. Lined up there. You can't see on the other side. Yeah. We need truck parking. <laughs> 